My dear friends, we find David's life journey today in the first reading where the King David was dying. What a, what a character who conquered the whole nation and unified everything. Powerful man now dying. Came alone and he's going to go alone. You will have, we don't have anything, anything when you take, when you go, and nothing to take when you go. So that's exactly the root reality of the life. And then he's saying, I'm out about to go the way all the earth. Be strong and show yourself a man and keep the charge of the Lord your God, walking in his ways and keeping his statutes, his commandments, his rules and his testimonies. As it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn, that the Lord may establish his word that he spoke concerning me, saying, if your sons play, play close attention to their way, to walk before me in faithfulness with all their heart, with all their soul, you shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. My dear friends, that is important. That is important, isn't it? Where, where David is going to go from this world and he's showing him, his own son, how to live in this world. We live in connection to him obeying his commandments. That is important. That how, that's how you are going to live together. It's a journey. It's a journey. In that journey, the Lord is sending the disciples two by two in the gospel. So he's sending them. So in coming to this world, there is no choice. In going from this earth, there is no choice either. But in the way you live, you have a choice. You have a choice to obey. So that choice, the way you live, is going to design, decide the way you go, where you go and how you go. So that's exactly why David is asking his own son. Because David had made blunders, terrible mistakes in his journey. Yet the Lord has been good to him. And that's the way we, we as, as disciples, we can make mistakes, truly, definitely. Yet the Lord is sending each one of them two by two. Jesus called the twelve and began to send them out two by two. Before sending, he called them. That's important. Because you, you should know the direction. You have to be with, you have to be, be, you have to be with him. To be sent in Matthew in, in Mark chapter 3 verse 13 he called those who whom he desired and to be with him and then sent without being him being with him you won't be able to go you don't know you won't be able to know any destination or 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 plan of God you will lose the meaning if you just go without hearing him without being with him so then he says, he charged them to take nothing for their journey. It has to be a journey, clear journey. Journey is something where you leave your present comfort zone and you hope for something great and you journey, move on. So in that moving on, in that journey, you can, you can miss many things. If you start stagnating, if you are scared, if you want, if you start depending on the road, the journey would be, the journey will be disturbed. So that's why the Lord is saying, you nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money, their bells, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. And he said to them, wherever you enter a house, Stay there until you depart from there. 
So, staying for leaving. They have to stay because they have to go. So you cannot have roots here on this world. Your roots should be in heaven as the vine is connected to the branch. As the branch is connected to the vine. You have to be rooted to him. Truly, only if you are rooted to him, you can journey. Otherwise, the moment you root, get yourself rooted in this soil, in this ground, you will be able to go. So, in that journey, you will be totally looked after by him. He is going to look after you. As he looked after Elijah in the road, with the widow in, the, in Sharapat. My dear friends, so that's how the Lord is going to work in you. It's complete dependence. Trusting in Him that you live. When we leave the world, this world, as David did, they had to trust the presence of God. We have to trust the providence of God. It's important, my dear friends. And they cast out many demons. If, if any place will not receive you, whenever, wherever, whenever you enter the house, stay there until you depart from there. And if any place will not receive you, they will not listen to you. When you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. My dear friends, so it's, it has to be, your staying has to be with a purpose. Has to be with a purpose. Purpose of receiving, giving good news. That's why you should stay. Not for your comfort. No. So you stay with a purpose. If you are staying at one place, it, it is with a purpose. And if the purpose is not fulfilled, if they don't receive, if they don't receive the good news, leave the place. And you have to accept rejection in the journey. All won't be well in human understanding. No, human criteria. No, there are going to be wolves among the sheep. So it has to be like that. So in the journey, dust off with the dust. Just shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. Shake them off. So you should not harbor anything negative. You have to go to the another place, take that rejection as an opportunity to another, another avenue, another chance God is giving you. So if you take the dust from here, I mean, it's a waste of time. You will miss the point there. So remember all this, shake off the dust and move on. And they cast out many demons. So they went and proclaimed the people should repent and they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. So when you completely surrender, when you are not rooted here, you will be rooted to him, connected to him. So you will be empowered. You will, you will begin to live a life, life with authority. Life is dignity. Life with power, my dear friends. So that's why David asked his son to abide by the rule, abide by the law. You won't lose anyone to the throne if you are connected, connected by obeying the law. So it's a journey. We come alone, we will go alone. There's no choice and coming, coming and going. But then there's a choice the way you are living. So live in the way that you should go to him one day. Think about it. Have a nice day. May God bless you.